Hey YouTube, welcome back to the Secret Underground Bunker location. I'm your host, Cap Trooper Munoz, and this video is brought to you by President Putin of Russia. Russians don't give up. And this t-shirt is uh, courtesy of Babushka, and I'm sure you can find it online in America as well as Russia. Today, for your viewing pleasure, we have an unboxing. I'm not going to show you what it is. It doesn't say on the package. But it's pretty long. So let's take a look and see what we got. Bow, ch -ch -bow, bow. <laughs> Another Russian product, courtesy of Prepper Gun Shop. And they always send this, uh, flyer with the gun safety flyer. I wish they'd include a sticker. Uh, Prepper Gun Shop, if you're listening, uh, you guys have one of the coolest logos out there, and uh, I'd really like to get a sticker or two. All right, so, yeah, enough of that. There it is, the Molot Vepper. In 7.62 by 51 NATO or 308. Let's get her out and take a look at her. Okay, so this Vepper is the 20 inch model with the thumb hole stock. Slant back. It came with a cleaning rod, cleaning kit, one 10 round magazine, and one 5 round magazine. And it does have a pinned uh, threaded barrel. So I believe that cap is not uh, welded, it's pinned. Let's see if we can take a look at that. There you go. Traveling down the barrel, we see the beautiful wood foregrip. And I know a lot of guys go for that tactical M lock rail and. Uh, I don't even know what the other one's called, but uh, man, you just can't beat this wood. It's just really nice. Now, if you're going to go take this rifle out and beat it up, then yeah, um, I would probably change this wood out for something a little more durable. And the reason I say that is because if you see up here it's cut, you can actually pinch the wood with your fingers. And I'd hate for that to break. I mean, not that it would, but it's always a possibility. And that would be terrible. On the sights, you see that it also has a windage adjustment, which is awesome. And... Uh, the typical uh, element uh, notch sight. I noticed that the magazine release is a little elongated, so still very stiff in that uh, AK platform uh, release, but uh, this one's a little elongated. Well, I don't know if I'll put an extra tab on this because. I'd really like to keep this uh, rifle stock. 
Another thing to note is, I always thought the uh, Vepr came with a G2 or aftermarket trigger. This one does not have any uh, aftermarket markings, so it may actually be the uh, from the factory trigger. And I don't know if they have to put American parts on this for compliance, or if they don't have to because it's the uh, thumb hole stock. I guess what you would call the sporting version of the rifle, not the tactical version of the rifle. And I believe that's how they get get uh, around the stupid, ridiculous, nonsensical, government red tape import restrictions. Did, did I make that clear enough that, uh, that you know, these gun-grabbing, know-nothing idiots who base a gun's performance on the way it looks... Um, oh my god, don't get me started. Anyway. And there's the end cap. And this thing is built like a tank. I mean, this thing is solid. What a gorgeous rifle. And I believe it's heavier than my uh, M77. It's got to be about a good 9 to 10 pounds. And I'm sure on another channel and another review, uh, they've probably given the weight of the rifle. But what a beauty. So, I promised myself back in uh, November that I was going to buy a rifle uh, once the election was over. And I thought, actually, that I would have to purchase a rifle with uh, the intent of giving the uh, one-fingered salute to President Hitlery. Um, fortunately, that did not come to pass, and I was able to delay my rifle purchase a little bit because I felt that our Second Amendment rights were not as in danger under President Trump our Second Amendment rights are always in danger because of idiots like Nancy Piglosi and uh, who's that? Uh, Waters from California. The, uh, the lady thinks Russia is invading North Korea. Get a grip. Uh, I don't know who elects you, but do you, I mean, do, do they have drug tests in Congress? They should. These people should not be coming to work with their brain function impaired like they are. So. A uh, drug test for Congress, please. All right, I'm going to open this nice new rifle up and I'll let you see the innards. Okay, that's the inside of a brand spanking new Molot Vepper. Nothing really crazy. Let's see if I can get a better view. There's the recoil spring. And let's take... The difference in this Vepr is the bolt... Uh, the bolt. The piston is solid. And the other thing is, there's not a lot of wobble to this piston. Uh, it's set in there really well into the bolt carrier. And there's the bolt. No deformation on the tail, obviously. I don't know what this coating is. But for a guy who doesn't mind uh, Rust-Oleum as his uh, preferred firearms coating, this stuff feels pretty good. This is this feels thick and uh, well done. This is this coating does not feel cheap at all. So there you have it. 
the uh, Russian Molot Vepper, my congratulations President Donald Trump gun, and I hope to uh, have some range footage for you coming up soon. Cav Trooper Munoz, I'm out.